Dallin Hall, baby. Follow BYU Sports Nation on social media for Dallin Hall highlights this year on X, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Welcome back to Big 12 Basketball Media Days in Kansas City. I am Spencer Linton. He is Jerem Jordan. And the man featured in that highlight video, Dallin Hall, is with us in Kansas City. Dallin, welcome to BYU Sports Nation King at Uni. Big 12 Basketball Media Days. This is a big day, yeah. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. We should do more in-uniform interviews. This is because you're going to do, like, some social media content, I assume. You don't just walk around every day in your uniform? No, I actually do, yeah. It's kind of like <laughs> my Spider-Man suit, you know. Yeah. Oh, wait, you are down home. Yeah. yeah. It says it on your back. What's this media day experience like for you? Uh, this is cool, man. It's fun. Like, just being able to be here with Spencer and Foos. Um, I thought you were going to say Spencer Pope. and I. But, yeah, no, yeah, that was a... Curveball, my bad. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you don't have to apologize for that. No, I was getting there. I was getting there. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, no, being out here with those guys, um, talking to some of the other guys from the other team, it's exciting. Like it just shows how close the season is, and um, a reminder of this amazing conference that we're joining and the level of competition. It's just exciting, is the word I'd use. What's it like for you to? I mean, being the WCC, but make that mental transition of, okay, now we're in the Big 12. How is that as a player? We've asked a ton of coaches, ton of staffers and administrators, but for you as a player, what's that mental transition like? Um, you know, it's like those biggest games in the WCC, right? Um, Gonzaga, St. Mary's, those places that sell out. Uh, it's like that every night. And so I think the mental transition is, um, it's like we got to bring it every night. Um, and that's how it always should be, honestly. And I think it's a good opportunity for us to prove that we can do that every night. Um, from a standpoint of, like, myself, <clears throat> I'm just super pumped because, you know, as a little kid, my biggest goal was always to play against the best in, in the world. Um, and we really have that opportunity going into the Big 12, so it's exciting. How would you describe your freshman year? And then what did you work on this summer going into your sophomore year? Freshman year, ugh, learning curve. I think that was, that's a big learning curve. Um, coming home from the mission, trying to get my legs back under me, uh, being surrounded by a great group of guys. I was just trying to take in as much as I can, just being a sponge. Luckily, I had some great guys to teach me and mentor me. And now this off season, I feel like it was super fun. I had a bunch of time to just work on my game. And the first thing we did after this last year's season was over was we sat down with the coaches and we're like, okay, what do I need to work on to be the kind of player that, you know, I want to become and that they see me becoming? And so we pinned down a couple things, you know, extending my three-point range, uh, defensively getting better in certain areas, um, protecting the ball. Obviously, that was a big thing for us last year. And um, just fin getting better touch around the rim and finishing. And so those were some off-season projects that were really fun. Yeah, you just mentioned a bunch of different things. Where do you feel like you took the biggest step forward? Um, <clears throat> I feel like from a standpoint of my body, like I feel like my legs are really back. And so I feel like that was a big step. Um, and then as far as maybe like skill wise, uh, I would say probably the shooting, extending my range kind of uh being able to shoot from different floors on the spot, off the bounce, that was a big emphasis. More St. Mary's games, like the one in Provo? Let's hope so, yeah. That, that was fun to watch. You carried BYU. Your shoulders probably hurt after that one. <laughs> no. BYU picked to finish uh, 13th, so expectations low among the coaches. Are you okay with that? Is that motivating? How do you take that in? I love it, honestly. I love it. Um, being an underdog is, is one of the best feelings. You just go out there, you know, you have nothing to lose. You just play with everything you have. And it's fuel to the fire. Like, at the end of the day, as a team, you're just trying to block out the noise. Um, but some of it does reach you. That's just part of what this, um, you know, game is. And what we have heard, you know, it's just fuel to our fire. We got a bunch of guys who are made of the right stuff this year. And when they hear that, I think it motivates them. And for us, we're just out here to prove people wrong. And we're excited to be in the Big 12. Obviously, it's a big opportunity. Um, but we have bigger goals than just being in it, right? We want to win in it. And so it's a big opportunity. BYU guard Dallin Hall with us on BYU Sports Nation. You just talked about how you feel like you're better as an individual. Where do you feel like the team overall will take a step forward from last year to this year? 
Right. I think this year we're taking big strides. Uh, we've been focusing a lot on our shooting. We got guys that are really tracking their shots, finding ways to get better there, um, putting up extra shots, and we got some big time shot makers. Right. I could go down the list. Uh, we're really trying to emphasize protecting the ball. That's a big emphasis for us, and that's something we've been working on. And then defensively, right, we know the capabilities of some of these guys in this league and also just, you know, our season in general, we want to really be able to guard. And so we've been working a lot on guarding as a team and um, as, a, as a full unit and being able to, you know, move our feet with just the guy we have in front of us. Two newcomers of note, Ali Khalifa, the uh, center, the Egyptian. Uh, he, he's a wizard with the ball. It's going to be fun to watch. And then Dawson Baker. What have you seen in practice that fans should be excited about with those two? Whew, they should be very excited. Uh, it's got me excited, honestly, just thinking about some of the things they've been doing in practice. Uh, Ali, he really is a magician, man. I'll, I'll be honest. I had a back cut the other day ball hit me in the face i barely <laughs> caught it <laughs> i'm serious this like dude, a pistol pete maravich yeah, pass he can just make passes out of nowhere um he's one of the best passing bigs i've ever seen and it's fun and he can stretch the floor and shoot it and so i think he's going to be a matchup problem for a lot of teams um he's really getting in the swing of things and it's been fun to play with him and then dawson baker he's like one of those guys you just want to go to war with i remember traveling in europe that was big for our team um, and I got to spend some time with him, and we really bonded, and I feel like he's one of those dudes, you know, will have your back. Uh, he's just a gamer. Like, he goes out there, he performs, he has no fear, and, you know, one thing I'll say about Dawson and about his game is he's super explosive, and he has a very deep bag, meaning, like, he has a lot of moves he can get to. Yeah. Uh, he can really score the ball, and I think he just brings an edge mentally for our team that we really need, and uh, he's been fun to watch. I feel like people have forgotten about Trevin Nell. Yeah, so he he's, he's last back, year. and he's healthy. Didn't yeah, play last year. Trevin, yeah. man, that's the shot doctor. So, yeah, what does you call him the shot doctor. What does Trevin bring to this roster that BYU missed so badly last year? Right. He brings a lot of things to our table, um, to the table, and... One of the big things is that leadership role. He did a great job last year of kind of being my mentor, even though he was out. You know, a lot of guys, they kind of fade out or they kind of wait till they're back. But, you know, credit to him, his mental toughness, he was engaged. And I think that earned the respect of a lot of dudes because now he's back, he's healthy, he's shooting, the, you know, the living daylights out of the basketball. And uh, now we have that leader figure. He's been in the program for a long time. A lot of guys respect him. Uh, he knows Coach Pope and what Coach Pope is trying to do. And so his voice is really heard and respected. And then the dude can just shoot the heck out of the – shoot the cover off the yeah, ball. Like, yeah. it's pretty impressive. Um, so he brings a lot of a lot of good things to our team. Leadership, shooting. He's got a nice floater, too. I'll give him that. <laughs> I just need him to coach better in Media Day Madness. Okay? No, yeah, that's kind of the overall consensus. You know? Yeah, the the, uh, the white assistant coaching staff was really good, too, yeah. as well as the head coach. You know, Got it done. Shout out Spencer Johnson, Ali Khalifa. <laughs> they were great. They were great. great stuff. Dallin, it's great to see you at Big 12 Basketball Media Days.